And then she goes again, walks all the way inside. And it's the closet. Girl, I don't know where the bathroom is. You might have to go in the bushes outside. Uh oh. What's going on? Why is it so red? It better not be a fire. Why is everything so red? And why are you in the closet? We're back again to play some games. And I know it's not Sunday, but this is a Sunday Seduction, a series on my channel I play a random romance game. And today we have Before I Forget. And it's not... Mm, the description says it's a love story, a past love story. It's not exactly like romance romance, but like it involved a romance at some point. <laughs> it might be a bit on the sadder side, actually. Because I believe it's about dementia, maybe? I don't really know. I didn't really read the description that much, but we're going to try it out. So before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's always description below, and we can get started. I hope this isn't too sad. New game. Before I forget, it's best play through one sitting, one hour. Okay, we're going to be sitting here for a while. So let's do this. Um, yeah. One hour's not too bad. Oh. Where am I? I don't know where you are. I can't you see. Oh, she's old. Oh, yeah, because I said dementia. Can I, can I put Is him on? Is this the right place? Did you uh, put him on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dylan will know. I'll find him. Wait, is this the entrance? Oh, we got mail. What does that say? Urgent. I hope it's not bat mail. Dylan? Where are you? 2001. Dentist on the 18th at 10.30 a.m. Dentist? I don't know where it is. How will I get there? Will Dylan drive you? Oh, where's the light switch? Light switch, light switch. Oh. Oh, just a closet. Ironing board, umbrella. Okay. I got caught in the rain that day in the park. Oh. But you offered to share your umbrella. Oh, is that how you met we him? We walked slowly, even though the rain got heavier. Oh. How do you like Amsterdam? It's okay. It's beautiful, like stepping back in time. Oh yeah, this is gonna make me sad. Is Dylan even around anymore? Let's close this. No books. What room is this? Is that you? No? That's me. Oh. But I'm not going anywhere. No, so you you were a scientist, I'm huh? I'm not going. Phew. 
physical anthropology. You educated? That was before we met. I look so young. So pretty. Now we're keeping that light on. Um, is that the window? What was that sound? Okay, well, if I do so I just switch it off. Okay, nothing. We don't need the light on. Are we done in here? Don't want to run up that light bill. 1975. Are you hecka smart? Wow, that sounds impressive. But I don't think it was me. It really was, though. Yeah. Don't waste that PG&A. Dylan? Are you here? I don't think Dylan's here. <laughs> it smells like roses. Is this a wedding ring? <gasps> one of these too yeah it is yours old looking pocket watch one of those uh, time counting things you can't look in the mirror no don't you have any grandkids pretty color I love how the color just coming back slowly. What's going on behind me? Concert program. Oh, you was a scientist and he was a musician. Dylan Apple Appleby plays his Bach Goldenberg variation. I told I have bad eyesight. Variation Amsterdam concert. Yeah. I can hear you playing. Where are you? I don't know if Dylan's around anymore. Why oh, you were so pretty? Your brother almost made you late that day. Another note. I love you. Aww. He can't have seen it yet. You wrote that. Oh. He hasn't drawn the heart. This gonna make me sad. It already is. Cause his side of the bed is not. Aww. It's Ooh. locked. Those papers? I don't think there's no key. I can only open that one drawer. Oh, there's a bag. You got anything in here? A key, perhaps? You bought me this in Paris. Yeah, let's get out of here before I cry. What was this? I need the toilet. Uh, I don't know where the toilet's I'll go at. now before I meet Dylan. Bathroom? Uh-uh. That's terrifying. Bathroom? No, freaking closet again. 
But why did you walk inside like that? But I could have swore. The bathroom was the other way, right? Where the heck am I? <laughs> it's nighttime now. Was I, did I, how did I get back over here? Was okay, it this I'm a, way? They look the same. I can't, oh, how silly. Okay, it's not just me. It's not just me. It's not just me. Like, I, I definitely walked this way, right? <laughs> and walked into the closet. And then that ended up over here. Okay. Let's walk past that door, maybe? And then she goes again, walks all the way inside. And it's the closet. Girl, I don't know where the bathroom is. You might have to go in the bushes outside. Oh, we can't go outside. Oh, why are the lights off? Oh, don't do that. No one said it was a horror game. Today's Friday the 13th? That's bad luck. Dentist. I don't know what it is. I know, I know. Sorry, I'll check it How again. How will I get there? Okay, so. Oh no, Hari Suni, which door is it? So, let's not go to any door. We're gonna go to this weird light over here. Where did that hole come from? No one said it was a horror game. No one said it was a horror game. Don't do that to me. Because I know if I go over there, it's going to lead me back. Are you floating? Okay, no. I guess we have to go this way. It's locked. It's locked. She said her name was Suni. Uh, can you walk around it? No. Okay. Oh, wait. It did something. I saw something. An icon. Oh, no. The hole's just getting bigger. Um. I walked in there already. Can I go back to my bedroom? Nope. Closet. Let me turn on the volume. I'm getting kind of scared. <laughs> uh uh. Another static? This is getting. Oh, please. Oh, no, girl. Can you go back it's to the back? It's too late. I couldn't remember. Oh. And Dylan, he's not there. Oh, I hope he's put the kettle on. Turn that off. I'm sorry, I couldn't get you to the bathroom. I'm sorry. Oh, door's open. Is someone calling me? I don't want to fall. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. I was trying to follow where the... Follow where the uh, phone is. Uh-uh, that closet looks scary now. I can't... Oh, over here? I hear it. Oh. Sunita, it's Maria from the care agency. I've been ringing all morning. Please pick up the phone. Sunita? I will be there soon. Remember, I have a key, so I'll let myself in. 
Okay, come through. Who was that? How does she know my name? She said she's coming for me. Sunita, it's Maria from the Carey. I should go, ringing all morning. but I'll wait for Please dinner. Please pick up the phone. Sunita, I will be there soon. Remember, I have a key, so I'll let myself in. Okay. Who Pull was up. that? How does she know my name? Check your emails. She said she's coming for me. Oh no. I should go. But I'll wait for Dylan. Are you done? Oh no. It's 2003, but these emails are from 1995. What, what did Dylan say? Dear Sunny, I finally created an email address for myself, so I'm writing to you from America. The tour is going well, although I miss you very much. See you in a week. All my love. Mm. This is from the conference. Sunita, what happened? I hear the event was a disaster. All those months of work. If you weren't confident presenting, I could have rearranged my schedule and stepped in. We should talk. Give me a call. Oops, my bad. Um, hi, Sunita. I've just heard that you're retiring. Are you all right? What about your research? I'm so shocked. Has Dylan convinced you to start a family? You don't have to give up everything. I can't believe you're going. Let's talk. I'll pop into your office for a Koopa? Kappa? Mona. Hi, Sunita. Sorry, I haven't been in touch. I don't know if you're still picking up your emails, so I'll try and give Dylan the call, and we'll try to get together or something. Mona. Okay. Um... I'm surprised you still know how to log in. What does class mean, disaster? Looks like something happened at work. You always made things difficult, but I could never say anything. I'm not reading all of that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Institute of Science, Research, and Culture, June 2nd, 1996. Dear Sunita, on behalf of the whole faculty, faculty, I want to thank you for your perilous contributions to the research and standing of the university, of this university. Your work has left a mark on our institution in the field of cosmology, cosmology, cosmology. I speak for myself and all of our colleagues when I say that we are grateful to have you Grateful to have had the opportunity to work with you on a personal and professional level. Thanks for everything, and we wish you all the best for your retirement. Imagine your condition. Yours sincerely, Desmond Powell, um, Dean of the Faculty of Cosmology, Institution of Scientific Research and Culture. Okay. What condition? I'm fine. No, don't tell me she got, uh... I'll call him. It's just a misunderstanding. It seems like... So she was, you know, a type, a top scientist. Um, But she retired early because of a condition, which made early dementia? Early dementia? How early can you get dementia? Uh, younger onset dementia is used to describe any form of dementia that develops in people under the age 65. Dementia has been diagnosed in people in their 50s, 40s, and even their 30s. It's sometimes called early onset dementia. I don't like that. I don't like that. My Spanish teacher, he might have been lying. Well, uh, I think I mentioned this before. Maybe. My Spanish teacher said that if you know two languages... You don't get dementia, this uh, dementia. But granted, he was speaking in Spanish the whole time, so I have no idea what he really said. <laughs> I have no idea what he really said since he refused to speak English in that class. But that doesn't s sound correct. Star map. Oh, you like uh constellations? 
Okay, you show me then, clever clogs. Clogs. That's no fun, Dylan. You have to find it yourself. <laughs> As you wish, Professor. Not yet, I'm not. Bah. It's just a matter of time. So, guide me to this star. It's not a star, but all right. First, find Pegasus towards the bottom of the map. Um, Pegasus. Do you want me to do it? Sure do. Can you back up a little bit? So I can get the full picture? Towards Pisces. You can back up a little bit, Dylan. You got bad eyesight or something? Oh. Ah, I've got it! Its body is a giant box dipped on its corner. And the top left corner of the box that's is called, alpha rats. That's called, um... Man, trapezoid? <laughs> I think what it's called. That shape. What do you want me to do? Oh. Is there another one? Oh wait, actually I don't know what the shape is. This it's a square. One? That's it. Oh. <laughs> hey, I don't know what I was talking about. This. <laughs> no, count two stars up and follow yeah, along to it. the right. I mean and I see it because they drew it. Andromeda. I see it because they drew it, but I don't look like no horse. Andromeda, you said? Alright. So what am I looking at? The Andromeda Galaxy. It's 2.65 million light years away. And you can actually see it with the naked eye on a clear night. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Well, you must show me properly. Sonny, do you think that could be another you and me in Andromeda looking back I don't want to think us? about that. I don't want to think about that. Maybe. You know, my Leela auntie used to tell me the stories of the gods and the stars, but I can't really remember them now. Okay. What was I doing? Oh yes, Dylan. Where is he? Um, so what's her face is coming over at some point. Um She's scared to go over. Maybe he's taking a bath. Okay. But I don't remember where the bathroom's at. Are you not going to be scared to go over there? Not in here. Where are you? But make sure that wire's not running. Make sure that, that wire's not running. So, Sonny to the cosmologist, how about a coffee? There's a, there's a cafe over there. Well, if that's the way the umbrella's going, <laughs> maybe I should. Y'all flirting. A cup of tea would be nice. I hope Dylan's put the kettle on. Uh, no. Make sure that wire's not running. Make sure no wire's running. We good? We good. Turn this light on. Pillbox. Oop. 
One tablet to be taken once a day after food. Should I take them? I don't feel sick. They can't be for me. Um... You probably should, but you haven't ate yet, so... Nice bathroom, though. Nice bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice bathroom. I can't wait to see the kitchen. You know I love counter space. There's no hole, right? I'm not going that way. Then where's the kitchen at? Oh, over here. Okay, it looks like it connects, maybe? The hallway over here? Um, will we come in here for it? Oh. There's no, there's no coffee on. For how long were you? St I thought perhaps now the tour is over, we could start trying. Let's wait. Just until my research is finalized. Oh, you don't got no kids. Um, how long were you standing here? You never put the kettle on. Well, I want it to be daytime. I thought perhaps now the tour is over, okay, no. we could start trying. Let's wait. Just until my research is finalized. So you don't want no coffee? Let's say. Uh oh. <laughs> Do not use the stove. Your lunch is in the fridge, Maria. I shall use the stove if I want to. Who is Maria? Man, let's check in the fridge then. What she got in here for us? Better not be some spaghetti or anything like that. Buy peaches. We always need more peaches. Can you open it for me? No? Okay, don't use a stove. I should've read that before, huh? I should've read that before I, uh, did all that. Um, what's this? Merry Christmas. Which year was that? We look older. Not that old. I mean, he looks a little older than you in that picture. I guess you don't age, huh? Birthday car, happy birthday. 40. Man, that's young. Um, Yeah, I can't read that. Happy 40th birthday to my darling Sunita. I love you more every year. Happy birthday. You always spoil me on my birthday. How old are you now? Close this. How old are you now, Sunita? Can we touch that? No. Because, what was that sound? Was that me? Yeah, it's right there. What's this room? You really like constellations, huh? Was that your research? I think that was her research. I should have read that magazine. It said cosmetology. That cos not cosmetology. Cosmology. This is study of stars, right? Yeah, that's clear astronomy. Sky. Perfect. Show me one with the story, Lila Auntie. All right. Let's start with an easy one. This is Taurus, the bull. Look to the east. Can you find the star at the tip of one of the horns? North. West, southeast. Yes. Okay, I think those are the horns. Look down to find the star. This one? Got it. That's Svaha. She was desperately in love with Agni, the god of fire. His love was focused elsewhere. What was he looking at? That's sad. 
But I suppose at least she's a beautiful star now. True. Show me another auntie. Hmm, let's see. This time, I will show you a constellation in the west. West side? It has three stars close together. Can you see it? No, I can't. There are too many. Don't give up so easily, Suni. This star's light has traveled so very long, just so you could see it. Would you want its journey to be wasted? No, ma'am. How long? Thousands and thousands of years. Fine. I'll look again. I'll find it, I'll find it, I'll find it. You said west side, right? Look for the brightest star over to the west. Way over? Or like kind of over? Uh, I see it. Now, head straight up and there will be three stars in a row. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, right there. Uh, I see it. I see it. What is it called, auntie? Cupid. One day, Prajapati was chasing one of his daughters. The gods saw and wanted to punish him. They called on Rudra, the god of storms and thunder, and asked him to punish Prajapati. He shot an arrow, which flew fine oh, and, I was kinda right. and pierced Prajapati's waist. I said Cupid because it looked like an arrow. Those three stars you see? A Rudra's arrow. Oh. Whoa, how do you know these stories? Oh, wait, I'm wrong. Someone else shot him. <laughs> when I was your age, Baba took me out to show me how everything that seems to matter doesn't really matter. Oh. The stars show us how small we are. Uh, you miss your auntie, don't you? Lila auntie? Where are we at? Where? Where did she go? Is that a picture of her? What room is this? Oh, this room. Is that her? Golly, a model, huh? A model. It runs in the family, huh? What is that sound? What am I... Is that you? Are you rolling? It sounds like a wheel, right? Um, chessboard. Who was I playing with? It's Dylan's move. Hmm. He's always one step ahead. Girl, you're standing here for a long time. The clock is turning. Ugh. Is it time for dinner? Yeah, where's um the voicemail lady? Oh. Um, He's in the kitchen. Golly, do you wake up every day looking for him? That's so sad. Okay. So you... That hole is still probably there. Gonna stay away from that for you. So don't use the stove, okay? Can we order? It's air conditioned, okay. Maybe we can get a takeaway tonight. Then we don't have to cook. So we don't call it takeaway where I'm at. We call it takeout. Do you want to order takeout? You want to order something? But I have heard takeaway before. Um. Oh, we really don't got no peaches. This is a peach bowl. Um. I don't know how to tune radio. No. It was our first house. So it felt for it. Almost 
before we got to the door to look around. What is that? You think I'd have seen this one? Oh, you say 106? In park? Merry Christmas. Oh, I like this look. I like this look. Oh, there's no door. You'll hire renovated? What oh, did yeah. I come out here for? I like the vibe. I like the vibe. Merry Christmas. I'm so glad I persuaded him to get a tree for our first Christmas here. Congratulations on your new home. It's all a bit of a blur. Wait, is there anything on the backside? It didn't rain though. Oh. Even though Jenna thought it should. Ooh, come back. Oh. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Come back around. There we go. Sunny and Dylan. Your inspiration to us all. We love you. Be happy. Always Jenna and Clark. It's all a bit of a blur. It didn't rain though, even though Jenna thought it should. Oh, here's this thing out here. Another card? What'd that say? Congratulations, Dylan and Sunita. Uh, congratulations on your wedding. All our best wishes. The orchestra. So many uh -huh. good friends. Check one more time. Oh, so many signatures. I see Betty. Uh, that's all I can see. So many good friends. There's Auntie. All our love on your wedding day. Remember our handle. Enjoy life together. Guillermo and Carol. So many cards. Um, give me a second. On your special day, dearest Anita and Dylan, our thoughts and prayers are with you both. It, are with the both of you on your special day, Ma and Baba. Aww, thank you, mommy, <sighs> Daddy. I wish they could have been here. Congratulations to my favorite people, to my two favorite people. Enjoy your life together and many happy years in this flat. All my love, Errol. Errol didn't forget the rings, at least. This is like old style. Not old, but you know, this is like disco. <laughs> Not disco, but you know. You know, time, time period, I'm trying to say. That time period. Sonny! Sonny, come look at this. Where would you go if you could go back in time? Nowhere. Me, personally, nowhere. If it was possible, I'd stay just here and exactly. now. Exactly. Ain't nothing for me back there. You smile, Ben. Like you knew something. A marvelous secret. Are we back? We're back. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. See, I hear that rolling sound. Do you have like a... Are you rolling in a wheelchair or something? Where should we go now? Do I look at this over here? <laughs> Aww. Look at that big hair. That door was grueling, but we stole a moment in San Francisco. San Fran? Oh, you near me.
Find Dylan. Find, does it all say find Dylan? Find Dylan, find Dylan, find Dylan. Oh. Well, girl, I don't know where he's at. Oh, well, I, mean, I think I know where he's at. But I don't know what you want me to do. Uh-oh, have we not been paying your bills? I'm not sure what you want me to do now. You know? Give me a little bit to work with. Oh, we go for this now. Ugh, nothing but cans. Oh, peaches. You like peaches? Oh, you like peaches a lot. Do you want one? No? Still can't open the fridge. What do you want me to do, Sunita? Give me something to work with. Oh! When'd that get there? I'll set a place for Dylan. He'll be here soon. I don't think you will be. <sighs> it's getting late. I'll make us a cup of tea before bed. Don't mess with the stove. You didn't even touch your food. Oh, it's dirty. Auntie. I want to know all the stars, Leela Auntie. <laughs> we should be heading home now. No, Auntie, just one more, please. One more. The one more. seven rishis. There you go. I know, like life in the Mahabharata. Precisely, Sunni. The rishis were the seven sages who made the sun rise and warm us with its light. I like that. What else did they do? Well, first, the Rishi married Kritika, the seven sisters, and they all lived happily in the north sky. Come on, so look north. I don't know where north is. I'm looking. North Can is you up. see the four in a box? No, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I see it. And three going up. Isn't that the big spoon and the little spoon? Six, seven... What happened to them? One no, day, not. the Rishis prepared an offering to Agni, and he emerged from the flames. He instantly fell in love with the sisters. All three? But he couldn't be with them because they're married. Exactly. So what he do? So what did he do? He was tormented by his love for the Kritika and took to wandering. One day in the forest, he met Svaha, who loved him, although he didn't know it. She disguised herself as six of the seven sisters. Oh, seven of them. How you love seven Did of them? Did it work? Did he love her forever? Sadly, not. no. The Rishi thought their wives had been unfaithful and left them. Oh, no. Nobody was happy. Not every story can have a happy ending, Sunni. Not even for the gods. Especially for the gods. The gods are filled with drama. For real, for real. Uh-oh. What's going on? Why is it so red? 
It better not be a fire. Why is everything so red? And why are you in the closet? Where are you, Dylan? Why are you never here? I need to know. Oh, no. Don't tell me you touch Let's get out. I hope this is a dream. I hope this is a dream. Did you leave the stove on? I see that fire up there. Okay, I can't get to the kitchen. Should we really be going? I think this is a fire. I think this is a fire. Oh, are you moving faster? Hidden them corners for real. You hidden them corners. Oh, but this is bad. Sleeper, it's Maria from the carriage. Oh, I thought for us. Now the tour is over. Don't give up so easily. No, you just decided. I don't want to talk about this. Not when you're like this. Why did we always come second? You didn't. You were pressuring me. We always said, though. Well, things changed. Exactly. You changed. But you never told me. I'm not even going to involve myself in that. Is this his album? You changed, but you didn't tell me. Oh, that's a line right there. That's a line right there. of Thanksgiving to remember with love Dylan James Appleby 17th February 
17th of February, 1945, to 1st of December, 1999. Funeral service will take place on Tuesday, the 14th, December, 1999, at St. Michael's Church um, at 1.30 p.m. And then they played some of his music. I must be reading this wrong. What's it saying? Hold on. Um, 1999 to 1945. 1999 minus 1945. He was 54 years old. That's still pretty young. That's younger than my parents. I must be reading this wrong. What's it saying? Oh. World-class composer and concert pianist, Dylan Appleby died in the early hours of yesterday morning. According to emergency services, he was involved in a car accident and died on arrival at St. Mary's Hospital, known for its poetic composition for piano, as well as a vibrant, vibrant and moving performances. Apple Bay was both popular with audiences and the classical establishment, winning him many awards. He leaves behind him his wife, Sunita, Sunita Apple Bay. No other casualties were involved in the incident. Tragically, his latest album, is due to be released this Friday. A tribute to his wife entitled Song for Sunita. No, no, you can't be. I can still hear you playing. How did it happen? Why did you leave? It wasn't your career that would get put on hold. I stopped touring. What did you want me to do? I don't no, Dylan, but what I do counts. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I didn't mean that. Wait, Dylan, wait. wait! He drove off the anchor. You always wanted us to slow down and start a family. Girl, you need to take a seat or something? Take a seat. I was happy to be just us and our careers. But I kept forgetting things. I... I'm playing with my door. Girl, get off the roof. What are you doing up here? I got confused. I forgot myself. Okay, maybe you're not on the roof. I see but walls. But then you were gone. And I forgot that too. I don't want to be alone and confused anymore, Dylan. We can be together now. Hold on. What do you mean by now, that? Now, I remember. Uh -uh. I mean, there was that fire. It didn't say it was a fire, but I'm pretty sure that was a fire. You know, the rain stopped. You're going to follow him? To beyond the beyond? Uh, 
hope this game doesn't have multiple endings. I'm pretty sure it's just a short story. Because if I make you go back into this house, um, is there a door still? Because, you know, you don't have to follow him just yet. No, there's just a plant over here. Okay. Go to beyond the beyond. I was going to complain about how slow she moves, but it's part of the story. She's... Actually, I don't know how old she is. I'm getting the feeling she's... I don't know. Because it does seem like her dementia came kind of early. From her, everybody reacting to her retirement. So I don't know. Dylan? Dylan? Wow, exactly one hour. <laughs> one hour and 27 seconds and counting. Wow. Um. That's a fire. She died in the fire. Did she not? Because she said she was going to put on some tea or something like that. Oh, Sunita. Um. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>